on asphalt, the only part he doesn't like is the racing part, which is probably why he's never come in higher than 20th or 21st place. See, Davey's just not competitive by nature. If someone wants to pass him, he lets them. I mean, why be rude? Vitaly, a fuel additive vitamin company, provides fuel for older active cars. Sponsoring a race car seemed like a good way to get that message across to their customers, and they hired the right car for the job. Senior racer James Clean Air has been racing for 20 years and shows no signs of slowing down. Todd Marcus is known as the biggest race car who emerged from his hometown of Dieselton, Alabama. He's also known as the only race car who emerged from Dieselton, Alabama. When asked why he chose to be car number 123, he simply replied, because it's easy to remember. And that's why it's also his ATM number, his internet login, his home security code, and his safe combination. <laughs> Nicknamed Easy Oaks for his laid-back attitude and his slow, gravelly voice, Ruby Oaks' view of life mirrors his approach to racing. He likes to take it easy, gather his thoughts, get folks to let their guard down, and when they least expect it, take the lead. Number 117, Ralph Carlo, is little brother to the famous Hollywood actor Jordan Carlo. The two brothers had little respect for what the other did for a living, but when Jordan got a role playing a race car in the film Racing Hearts, he was forced by the studio to spend time shadowing his brother Ralph. After two long months of research, Jordan came away with a new respect for how hard racing really is. And after seeing his brother's performance in the film, Ralph gained a new respect for acting. Since then, Jordan never misses a race, and Ralph never misses a premiere. Misty comes from a racing family, but not exactly on the track. Her brother Frank is a champion street racer on the east side. Her brother Zach holds titles as the fastest drag racer in three towns, and legend has it her brother Dave has outrun five police cars in the past year alone. Suffice to say, Misty's family is very excited about her legitimate racing career, and though she may not have a perfect track record, at least her record is clean. Paunchy was working as a stunt double on a movie about a pair of wise-cracking California Highway Patrol officers called Hijinks when he was spotted and recruited to be a professional race car. Paunchy's gone from the big screen to the little screen, but at least it involves a lot less intentional crashing. Matt Icar likes things clean and simple. He doesn't go for the flashy colors and gaudy stickers that adorn some of his fellow racers. He prefers a simple, sleek design. Feels this creates a bold statement, one that says, I think different. Kevin is the fourth in a long line of racers in the Shift Right family. His great-grandfather, Kurt, raced on the old dirt tracks in the 50s, followed by his grandpa, Craig, who won two Piston Cups in the late 70s, and his dad, Clint, who won three in the early 90s. Kevin tries not to let the pressure of his family history get to him when he's on the track or at the dinner table. Dirksen D'Agostino discovered his natural racing talent while working in the graphics department for a small racing outfit. Running errands between buildings, he dodged all kinds of obstacles at insane speeds. One day, Dirksen caught the eye of the race shop's owner, who fired the young upstart for what he considered reckless driving in the workplace, and rehired him as one of his pro racers for what he considered a natural talent on the racetrack. Brush Kerber is considered to be one of the most consistent veteran Piston Cup contenders. Kerber had numerous top 10 finishes in the 2006 season, but a string of mid-season malfunctions severely sidetracked his run for the Cup. With help from his fiber fuel sponsor and an overhauled diet, Brush purged his losing ways. He also attributes his resurgence to his loving wife of 40 years, Catherine, and their 14 children. Hal, Brush Jr., Penelope, Jake, Marty, Willard, Ingrid, Lucille, Scotty, Wendell, Amy, Cassie, and of course, Truman. Slider Petrolsky's parents named him Slider after his uncle, famed dirt track racer Slide Powers, who graced the gritty makeshift tracks of the late 40s. Aspiring to his namesake, Slider started racing at an early age. He challenged postal trucks, taxis, delivery vans, and all varieties of unsuspecting pedestrian motorists. He even raced a police car, but only once. The youngest winner of the Junior Piston Cup Pro Series, Vanderspin entered the Piston Cup competition in 2004, already a highly decorated racer. His favorite trackside pastime is dodgeball. 
several of his fellow racers play with him as well. But it's the pitties who are the toughest competition on the dodgeball courts, says Vanderspin, because they're tiny and they have arms. <laughs> Greg loves his Taco Bell sponsorship, but there is one aspect he's not a fan of, the paint job. Gingerbread brown with oh, candy that cane type would not have likely been oh, his first choice, school. nor would it have likely been the first choice of a professional graphic designer. But it was, however, it's the like first choice of the first four-year-old niece. Greg is also not a big fan of judging the annual contest in which fans build a likeness of him out of real gingerbread and gumdrops. Still early in his career, number 68, Manny Flywheel, is fast becoming one of the most consistent gearheads on the circuit. He's also the proud spokesman for his sponsor.